Hello friends, welcome to Narish Pantek channel. So in this video, I am going to explain about the train history and the train types. So where the train journey has started and now where it is and how many types of trains we have. So uh, for each generation, how the train has uh, changed. So about this topic, I am going to explain in this video. So before that, I want to tell you one thing that uh, about the terminology, rail terminology. So in railways, they have different uh, names uh, that we are using incorrectly. I mean, when we are talking, so we are using differently, like we call the train, but uh, there is a different names for this all the things in the railway terminology. So, but I'm going to tell only uh, the words which I am I'm using in this video. So that is what is locomotive. So what is locomotive? Locomotive is nothing but <coughs> the train engine. You know, uh, you, in the train you have lot of cars, I mean lot of bogies. So the first one which is pulling entire wagons. So this engine is called locomotive. Another one is rail. You know, if you see the tracks, if you have a single track, so you, ca you can call, uh, we call it rail. So if you have two tracks, two rails. So this is, I mean, two tracks means the single layers, the iron one. So that's two rails. And you have a three tracks, so then it is three rails. So this is the terminology and these words I'm going to use in this video. So before that, I'm requesting you to subscribe my channel. And if you like this video, please give a like and share it to some other persons who want to know all this information. So thank you. So now, uh, shall we start our video? Yeah. So first, uh, we'll talk about the steam locomotive. So this is the first locomotive that we have in our world. So this steam locomotive, uh, how it works? Uh, so the steam locomotive, we have a coal. So we'll burn the coal. So because uh, after burning the coal, this coal will uh, boil the water. So after boiling the water, the steam will come from the water. So this steam will go to the uh, pistons and these pistons will move based on this steam pressure. So this piston is connected to the wheels. So according to this piston movement, the wheels will rotate and it will go to, uh, it will go forward, the train will go forward. So after this, we have a diesel mechanical locomotive so it's a diesel locomotive but in this we have two variants so this is diesel mechanical locomotive so this locomotive uh, runs uh, with the diesel engine so we have to use a diesel and this diesel will uh, run the diesel engine so this diesel engine will have the pistons so these pistons will connect it to the shaft and this shaft connected to the gearbox so this gearbox is connected to the uh, wheels so according to the driver uh, uh, movements the gears will uh, change so this mechan uh, chemical uh, uh, diesel energy will change into the mechanical energy and this mechanical energy will be controlled by the gearbox according to the driver's uh, movement. So this uh, will apply to the wheels. So according to this movement, the wheel speed will be varied. So this is diesel uh, mechanic locomotive. So after this, we have diesel electric locomotive. So in this, also we use a diesel engine, but uh, we use diesel and this diesel will uh, work uh, this diesel will uh, help to work the diesel engine this diesel engine will have a alternator so it will connect it to the diesel engine so this alternator will generate the power from this diesel engine so this power will go to the rectifiers and some controlling circuits and after that this diesel uh, this electrical power will go to the uh, motors traction motors and this motors has connected to the wheels so this all circuit in between diesel engine alternate, uh, alternator and the uh, traction motor will work according to the driver uh, movements so this will uh, control the voltage or power of the traction motors so the, based on this voltage the traction motor uh, speed will be vary so according to this the wheels uh, speed also vary so this is about the diesel electric engine so next we have pure electric engine locomotive so this electric locomotive have the pantograph and we can see the 25 kilovolts uh, power line on top 
So from this 25 kV power, so this uh, electric locomotive will absorb the power and this power will go to the converter inverter units and some controlling units and from here it will go to the traction motors and this motors will connect to the wheels. So uh, this, uh, this uh, in-between controlling circuit, this converter inverter will uh, work based on the driver's uh, movements. So the, uh, here this driver's movements will uh, control the uh, speed, I mean uh, voltage variations. So these voltage variations will reflect the speed of the traction motor. The speed of the traction motors will affect to the, to the wheel uh, rotation. So according to this, the wheel will rotate, the wheel speed will be vary. So and the train will, the, the locomotive will move forward. So after in this uh, electric locomotive, we have a lot of variants like monorail and third rail, all this. So, so uh, this is all four uh, variants that uh, from starting to now these all we already saw uh, we, we have seen this and we are using and we are traveling in these locomotives and these locomotives have some wagons so these locomotives will pull that wagons so next uh, so after this uh, we have overhead so overhead is like which we have a uh, train on the wire ducts and next we have underground so underground it, the train will be under the ground so then uh, we have a, a monorail so this monorail uh, having a, a cement beam so this cement beam having a uh, power uh, track on that beam and this from this power track that this monorail absorb the power and it will go to the converter motor and it will go to the wheels and it will go to the forward according to the uh, speed variations so then we have third rail so this third rail is nothing but uh, generally we will have two rails to run the train so after that we have another th third rail so this third rail having power so instead of the over, uh, the cables on the train we have an uh, extra rail so from this third rail the train will collect the power so this will help to move the train in forward so this is another variant so after that we have uh, EMUs so EMUs is nothing but electric multiple unit in this uh, we have motor cars and the trailer cars the motor cars means which is having traction motors and the trailer cars which is don't have uh, which don't have the traction motors so this tra uh, this trailer uh, motor car may have a driver cab also so this will pull the trailer cars this is electrical multiple unit this this train will use the uh, electric power from the uh, store rail or from the uh, over OHC cables, I mean overhead equipment cables and then we have DEMU this is the diesel electric multiple unit so this is also same like electric multiple unit but instead of they are using electric power input it is using a diesel so it, is, it will have a diesel engine and it is having a motor cars and trailer cars so this diesel engine will generate the power to move the train so this is the uh, diesel electric multiple unit this video I have only explained about the train journey but I, I will uh, um, do the more videos about explaining how the each train works so because this video is becoming more lengthy so I'm not explaining all, all, everything in this video I'm just explained about the uh, all history how the, the trains uh, has changed according to the generations so next videos I will uh, explain uh, full information about the uh, train so how the steam work is working and how diesel locomotive will work and how the electrical train will work so thank you for watching if you like this video please give a like and share it to someone so thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe my channel